here is a problem with AI training. One is, at some point of time, we're gonna run out of content, pure human written content. It's going to be a mix of human and AI, and oftentimes it's going to be entirely AI generated content. So we are not really looking at real data, we're looking at synthetic data. It's the first problem. The second problem is, we are training on content written by someone that we haven't asked permission for. So you write a blog post, what's the reason why you do it? There are a bunch of reasons. You want to help others, right? You want people who are searching for answers to get your blog post and get value from it. It's the first reason. The second reason, you want to do this as a way to brand yourself, right? You want people to know that you are an expert in the field. It's, it's a way of self-promotion. Blog posts are like commonly driven by self-promotion. You want to promote yourself. You want to make a name for yourself online. You do that. Third reason, you want some kind of a monetary benefit, right? You want ad revenue. People come, they see ads, you get some monetary rewards and so on. And often these things build upon itself. The more self-promotion you do, the more branding you have, the more revenue you get and the bigger the blog becomes. And then because of that, you get more promotion and so on, right? Now, what happens if you wrote an amazing blog and then it was crawled by a, a bot which takes that content, trains an AI model, one or more AI models, and it never visits your site again. And now that AI model is answering questions that people ask about the content that you've written. It's gonna provide the answer that you've written and the user gets the answer without you getting the revenue, without you getting the exposure or the branding. None of that stuff, right? What happens then? you can argue that it's unfair, right? You as the content creator is not, you are not getting remunerated even financially or through like word of mouth or some kind of a branding, right? This is a problem. And there's been a huge debate about, okay, somebody has to pay, right? Now, Cloudflare is a popular company when it comes to web properties, right? Their main claim to fame is CDNs. They have CDNs, they publish these static assets all over the world and make things really fast. If you have a website and you wanna make it fast, you can use Cloudflare services and make it really fast and make it available, distributed across the world. Now, Cloudflare has announced something really cool, which is to help content creators regain control of their content from AI bots, right? Cloudflare is leading connectivity cloud company, announced AI Audit, a set of tools to help websites of any size analyze and control how their content is used by artificial intelligence models. For the first time, websites and content creators will be able to quickly and easily understand how AI model providers are using their content and then take control of whether and how the models are able to access it. Additionally, Cloudflare is developing a new feature where content creators can reliably set a fair price for their content that is used by AI companies for model training and retrieval augmented generation. Okay, so basically what they're saying is it is not easy to have a price gate. You are one person creating a blog as a hobby and you can't expect OpenAI or Claude to come and give you money and say, I want to crawl your content, right? You don't even have the infrastructure to set that up. And what Cloudflare is saying is they're providing two tools. They're providing a tool called AI Audit, which you can set up on your website and see how many AI bots are crawling your content. How many AI bots are going to your website, going to your blog and checking it and getting the content. And secondly, they want to have some kind of a marketplace where content creators can set a price and the AI crawler can choose to offer that price and crawl your content or they decline and don't crawl your content. So this kind of enables people to basically set their price and kind of get some kind of a value. This is still suspect because no matter what price you set, the crawler is going to crawl just once, okay? Imagine you set a price, OpenAI or Claude, comes and crawls your content, gives you, pays you that price, takes your content, and that content kind of gets permeated into their model somehow. It's not copy paste, right? It's not like Google taking that content and then directing traffic to you. Once the content goes to these models, they're never gonna come back, right? So content creators are basically giving away the content and 
they get a one-time pay and then after that these AI models or whatever they're going to take that content and just charge their customers using your content and then you're not going to get a single penny so I don't know if a one-time payment is still a valid model but it seems like a good idea to start with right you as a single blog owner wouldn't have the infrastructure to do it Cloudflare has the infrastructure to do it so you put your website behind Cloudflare and I'm presumed Cloudflare makes some money out of this as well otherwise they wouldn't do it they are a for-profit company this is one way to do it website owners whether for-profit media or news or personal sites may be surprised to learn AI bots of all types are scanning their content thousands of times every day without the content creator being compensated Right? It causes a significant destruction of value. With AI audit, Cloudflare aims to give content creators information and take back control so that they can be a transparent exchange between websites that want greater control and AI model needing fresh data sources. So it can control AI bots. You can see the analytics to see who's using what and you have better protection of rights when negotiating with model providers. You can set a fair price. And I think Cloudflare has, will plan to do infrastructure which kind of negotiates with these models. Okay, existing Cloudflare providers can access the AI tab and then there's a service that you can do. I think they have a wait list for the AI value tool. It's pretty interesting, right? It's, it's very different from crawling on the web. Again, realize that Crawling has been happening for a long time, okay? Search engines crawl all the time. There are a whole lot of bots which crawl all the time. The benefit of you letting your websites crawled by search engine is that you want that presence, right? And often it's been the other way, like websites want their content to be crawled by search engines. They optimize their content for search engines because they want somebody typing on Google to get your link as a result but none of that happens with AI. AI crawls your content, takes it, goes away right and then they're coming back to you. So you want some way of having like a, a balance in terms of value that you get by AI crawling your content and that's this effort. Nobody knows how to do this. This is brand new territory. Nobody has any idea about how to make this useful for content creators because you want the benefit that the con like content creators do it for like I told you two or three reasons you want those reasons to happen otherwise why would somebody even take the effort write blog posts while nobody's going to read it they're going to go to chat gpt get the answers based on what you wrote you don't get the credit you don't get revenue nothing right this is a way to compensate for that, which I find pretty interesting. What do you folks think? Do you think it, it's gonna even work? It is just a legal way to solve the problem, but there's nothing stopping someone from just crawling, ignoring all this stuff, because this is publicly available information, right? They can create a headless browser, crawl through all this content, ignore all of this stuff, and train their model. Nothing stopping them. This is just a kind of an attempt at solving it. Who knows how it's gonna work? Let me know what you folks think.